guys, in this video I wanted to show you how to make something using the baby figure mold that I brought out last year. And we're gonna go Halloween themed, but we're keeping it cute. So we're going for a little cutesy Halloween pumpkin. So this one I did in a Facebook Live the other week. If you want to watch the live, you can still see that over on my Facebook page. So we're gonna use Saracino modeling paste. It might not be these particular colors. I just wanted to show you what we we're gonna use. Now you can buy it pre-colored. If not, you can add coloring to it as well. So don't worry if you can't get it in the colors that you want. It just takes any kind of food coloring. Okay, so the mold, you might have seen me use this before in videos. This is my baby mold. So it has a body, a head, and then arms and legs. We're not gonna need this body section. And I want to just dust the mold with corn flour. This is gonna stop my paste sticking. So it is modeling paste we're using, guys, not fondant. Fondant is sometimes a little bit too soft. Uh, if you struggle to get your corn flour in there evenly, just use a brush as well to kind of give it a good press onto all the sides, get it in all, all those cracks and creases. Same for the head. So the reason we're not using the body part is because we're gonna create a pumpkin for the body. So I've started with about 37 grams. Now I've mixed myself like a pale skin color for this one, which is just the rose beige, I think it's called in the Saracino mixed with some brown Saracino as well to create this color. And of course you can use the skin color of your own choice. I'm gonna press it really, really firmly in the mold. Now I've got quite a lot here. So this is just to show you different ways of getting it out of the mold. You can have lots of extra and then it pulls really quick and easily out of the mold like that, okay? But it means you have to have a flat head at the back, which isn't a problem for us on this one because it's gonna be having like this pumpkin little hat. So we're not gonna see the back. That way I didn't have to let it set or firm up for long in the mold. If not, if you're doing a baby with like a bald head, or something where you're gonna see the back of the head, then you're gonna go for a smaller amount of paste. And guys, what I'll do is I'll put a link to my original um, baby video as well using the mold. So you'll probably find there's a bit more detail in, in that video as well. If you've got one of the molds and you want to learn a bit more, have a look in the corner now. So you can add a small polystyrene ball into the head as well. I think this one's two centimeters. So you wanna keep it fairly small. I could have done with even going a bit smaller with the polystyrene ball or even pushing it slightly deeper into the head. You'll see when I pull it out, the head's a little bit too deep. It's, you know, a bit big there at the back. But you can use some paste then to cover that up. Now guys, it didn't spend as long as I probably should have on this because I did it in a Facebook Live. But you can spend much longer sort of smoothing down your paste than I did. So slightly bigger at the top, slightly smaller at the bottom, sort of at the bottom edge of the head. So I've put that to one side, we're gonna give that 10 minutes. Now, when you do pull the heads out of the molds, just be very careful you don't squash the noses. The noses are very small. If you do squash them, just give them a little nudge to bring them back out a tiny bit. Uh, this is the Carlos Lachetti hook tool that I'm using. I'll put links below the video, guys, to everything that I do use so that you can see what it is that I've used. I do sell most of the things in my shop as well. I'm gonna fill the leg mold with white paste. You can cut it off so it's level at the back, but if you're doing that, just be careful not to trim your mold by accident with a knife. And it does leave a bit of a seam, so if you want to press the edges down slightly, just open up the mold a little bit and give it a little smooth. You can do this with your finger, or this is like a, called a cat's tongue tool that I sometimes use. And let's go for a nice pale green for the arms. So I'm gonna go for a different color scheme to the one that you can see in the background. So in this video, guys, we're gonna make it in pastel colors. The display one you can see in the corner of the screen is made exactly the same way, we just use different colors. So while that other head is setting in the mold, and we're only gonna need one head, guys, I just wanted to show you uh, two different ways of pulling it out of the mold. I'm going to make some little pumpkins. So I've got a mix of different pastel colors. We're gonna roll a ball, press in lightly at the top so we get a dip, and then I'm just gonna use my Effortman, I think it's called a knife tool, I should probably check. Again, I'll link it below. I'm just pressing lots of lines in around the edges with this. Just pressing that hole in the middle a little bit deeper so we can stick a little stalk in. And you can do this for lots of pumpkins, so you can make a range of different shapes and sizes of them. And we're just repeating the same thing. And your little lines don't have to be evenly spread either. It's fine to have some little segments closer together and some wider apart. So let's make our body. I'm gonna take a piece of pink Again, modeling paste, we're using the same paste throughout. You can have it completely rounded or you can go slightly pear-shaped. I've just pressed in two little indentations where my legs are gonna go in there on sort of the fatter end of our sort of pear drop shape. We're gonna put some more lines in so it becomes a bit more pumpkin-like. And guys, if you do want a more detailed version of this or you want to watch me make this in real time, 
the live video is still available on the Zoe's Fancy Cakes Facebook page to watch. Let's just put some stitching lines on the edges of this. Just makes it look more like fabric than an actual pumpkin. And then let's draw a little pumpkin face on there. So we're gonna keep it fairly simple and cute. I'm just using an edible black pen. Now, the head's had 10 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is push a wooden skewer into the bottom of the head that should go into the polystyrene, which should help then pull it out of the mold. There we go. So you can see sticks out maybe a little bit too far at the back of the head. Try and rub the seam a little bit if you can, either with a modeling tool, like the cat tongue tool or your finger. Sometimes it helps to wet it a little bit and then smooth it. You're probably not gonna get the seam completely out. I'm gonna change the mouth a little bit and I'm gonna use my Dresden tool to create like a upset face. So we're gonna make the hole and then we're pushing that chin back up a little bit. So I only need one head for this guys. I just wanted to show you two different ways of removing it from the mold. Okay, so we're gonna push some little eye holes in. I'm just using a small ball and toe tool. Um, the star notification, guys, is what came up on the uh, when I was doing the Facebook Live, so it's kind of stuck on my screen. Uh, but thank you to everybody that does send us stars while we are doing the Facebook Lives. They are very much appreciated. So we're gonna roll two small balls of white modeling paste to fit in those eye sockets. Now you can roll them oval or round, whichever shape you prefer the look of. Your other option is to have closed eyes in which case you just want the same skin color that you've used for the face. Uh, I'm just gonna use the edible pen to draw on some little eyebrows. You can paint them on if you prefer. If you don't have a pen, you can use edible powder mixed with like a dipping solution or clear alcohol to create a paint. And let's draw in our pupils. Now, again, if you're not comfortable with drawing or painting, you can stick these black bits on with modeling paste, some small dots of modeling paste. And then for our other face, Let's make some little pointy bits and we're going to stick this across the bottom of the eye so that it's like little eyelashes or a line of eyelashes so that the eye looks more like it's closed. And of course you're not going to need both faces guys, I just in the Facebook live wanted to show people a couple of different ways of doing the faces. Okay so my body parts have had about 10 minutes or so to dry so I'm going to take these out, just rub down the seam if you can still see it. And what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of water in those little indentations that we made earlier and we're going to push our legs into there like so. Now I'm just sticking this on one of the, I think it's called a masonite board. They come in all sorts of nice colours these. You can obviously make it on a cake but I haven't got any cakes made ready for it to go on so it's just going to go on this board for now. So just push in some small armholes, pop those arms out. They should come pretty easily out of that mould if you just flex it. Just pull that little bit off the end there and we're going to push these into those arm sockets that you've made. Just put a little bit of water on or edible glue to help them stick in place. Then we're going to take a little disc of pink. So we're going to make like a little cap to go over the head. Let's pop that around the head. So just sticking it on with a bit of water push it gradually. If you have rolled it really thin, you'll find it creases and folds much more than if the paste is a bit thicker. And then let's put some lines in it so it matches with our body and pumpkins. And which do you guys prefer, the pastel colours for Halloween or do you prefer more traditional sort of oranges and blacks? I've noticed online um, a lot of people are going for pastels this year. I do like pastels, but I think I personally prefer the more traditional colors for Halloween. Okay, so a little bit of a skewer in the body for this one. Now you can balance the head on and stick it on with a bit of water or edible glue. You just have to make sure that it's balanced and you give it time to set. Because this was a Facebook Live, again, I didn't have time to leave it leaning against things while it sets. So the skewer just helps give it that extra bit of support. So let's make some little leaves. So we've got a teardrop of green, squashed flat. Let's put a little line up the middle. And then we're just gonna stick this on the little hood or hat. Is it a hood or a hat? I'm not sure. Let's call it a cap. And let's do a little twisty bit for the top. And then we'll do a couple more that just stick on the top of the neck. And then you can play around with placing all your pumpkins and things that you've made before. There we go. So do you prefer more traditional colors or the pastel ones, guys? And if you get a chance to have a go at making these or you have a play around with the baby mold, let me know. 
I'd love to see what you guys make from this. I hope you've enjoyed the video and you can join me on Monday morning, 10 o'clock again for another Facebook Live over on the Zoe's Fancy Cakes Facebook page. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.